Hi everybody, welcome back to The Moose. We're gonna talk a little bit about the Reno style, that being the style of Don Reno, uh, one of the greatest banjo players that ever was. And um, if, every, if anyone ever had a, a recognizable style on the banjo, it had to be Don Reno. Um, just a tremendous player. And uh, I'm by no means an expert in the Reno style, but I'm going to uh, show you some of the things that I do know, and I like to throw some of his ideas into my playing once in a while and hear Joe and I uh, play play that song for you. So some of the techniques that that Reno used was was in what they call the single st string style where he'd be playing playing scales on one string with 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 the right hand was is one technique and to start out this style now he had a he had such a great right hand and it was so fast that he could use the thumb and index very quickly over his improvisations and uh, I have a hard time keeping up with uh, with that thumb and you know my fingers are getting old but um, so some of the things that I like to do is, as well is use three fingers as well uh, on one string. But to start out, we're just going to use that thumb and index to, to get you going on what that style might be. And a, a good thing to start out practicing is just on one string, take the fourth string and just, just use that thumb and index back and forth on one string. And then build, build up your speed. Move on to another string. Just like the rolls of the right hand, you want to try to keep it just as even as you can and in time, and then work up to the next string. Again, that's he, he brought that into his style of playing, and then he, he had a tremendous left hand as well, where he'd be again playing these licks and scales. That's a that's a classic. Um, we're gonna go over a lot of these patterns and as well, and his in that style. And also, I've been incorporating my third finger into the mix. Uh, after you become comfortable with, with, that, with the thumb index, and it's going to take quite a while, you know. Again, practice is the key. Uh, the more you practice, the better you're going to get, uh, the more comfortable you're going to become using this style in your playing. So we can also use a forward roll on all the strings, okay? So again, start on any string you like, and again, we're just gonna thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index. There's our forward roll. As you can get, gain tremendous speed by using, at least I can, over the... When you use that, once, once you learn your rolls and have that ingrained in your right hand, is to use that over, over one string. Again, just build up your speed. And 
that, that four string is a booger to get. I have a hard time on that one myself. Again, just start out very slowly. And also, we can use the backward roll um, in, in this style as well. Again, on one string, just starting backwards. And, and, and I'm going to tell you, this is its importance later on when we work on some of these scales, at least how I interpret some of these scales. Um, maybe it'll help you. It, I hope it does. And just start middle index thumb. about that as a backward roll. So these are great exercises of the right hand to work on and, and in the style of Don Reno. But again, just start out with that, with that thumb index. And once you get once you get them ingrained in your right hand, then we can we can kind of split them up just like the rolls of Scruggs. We can we can break up the the thumb index and the roll the forward and backward rolls uh, to uh, to in our some of our scale ideas. some of these licks to uh, increase the speed uh, in your playing. So uh, we're going to leave it there and get on to some more Reno stuff in the next lesson.